Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix these error codes. So if you're receiving these error code with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and then you can launch the game and then check still not working. The next step is to enable or disable Steam overlay. So if you have the game on Steam, you can go to Steam and then go to Steam over here and then go to settings and then go to in game and if enable the steam overlay while in game if this is off turn it off and then go to the game make a right click on the game and then select properties go to general tab if enable the steam overlay while in game is off turn it on and then relaunch the game if this is already on, you can turn it off and then check. So for many user, enabling the Steam overlay has worked. So enable the Steam overlay and then check. If that does not work, you can disable it and then check. Next step is to Steam users, make sure Steam account is linked to EA account. So if you have the game on Steam, you can go to EA website and log in with your EA account. Now, once you're logged in, uh, you can go to connected accounts over here and make sure your steam is linked over here in my case it is already linked and then you can link it and then relaunch the game next step is to create a new ea account for many users this has worked so you can create a new ea account you can create a new ea account that uses the same email as steam so whichever email you are using on steam you can use that email to create a new ea account and then check next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available uh, you can just switch to different network over here and then you can check if that does not work you can use mobile hotspot so you can turn on the data on your phone turn on the hotspot in your phone and then you can go to wi-fi and then connect to your cell phone network so you will see your cell phone network over here and then you can connect and then relaunch the game next step is to set manual dns server to automatic now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to network and internet and then go to network and sharing center and then click on your wi-fi and then go to properties now over here select internet protocol version 4 tcp ipv4 and then click on properties and if you're using any kind of like manual dns if if you're using google dns or any other dns server uh, you can just put a check on obtain dns server address automatically both automatic and then click on ok and then you can relaunch the game and then check this has also worked if that does not work you can try google dns server now for this you can click on the wi-fi over here and then go to properties select ipv internet protocol version 4 and then go to properties this time you can use the following dns server addresses you can type in 8888 and then for alternate DNS server, you can type in 8844 and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK. Oh, close this. And then once this is done, you can close you can close this. And now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uncheck IPv6. Now for this again, you can go to the network and sharing center this location and then again click over here properties and then this time you will see internet protocol versions you can scroll down and select uncheck internet protocol version 6 tcp ipv6 only this one and then click on ok and then relaunch the game and then check and once you are done playing the game you can go back and then you can put a check once you're done playing the game you can put a check and then still not working the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator click on yes to allow and copy all these commands one by one and paste it in the command prompt window and then hit the enter key these commands are provided in the video description so copy it one by one paste it over here hit the enter key
now restart your computer once this is done restart your computer after the system restart launch the game and then check if that does not occur, if you're using vpn you can turn off vpn and then check use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you if you have a ethernet cable you can use the wired connection and then you can relaunch the game make sure date time time zone and reason is correct on your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it off also set time automatically if this is off turn it on and then click on sync now sync now is important over here scroll down and then click on sync now if you receive any kind of error in red color just click on sync now multiple times once done go to time and language language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then relaunch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator now for this wherever you have installed the game so go to the game installation folder so if you have the game on e app click on manage and then view properties and then you can go to open folder this will take you to the game installation folder and then you can make a right click and then you can run the game as an administrator and then check now if you have the game on steam you can do the same thing make a right click on the game select manage browse local files and do the same thing make a right click on the game exe file and then run as administrator and then check you can even use this uh, e anti cheat game service launcher to launch the game make a right click run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to verify or repair the game files now for this if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check if you have the game on the app click on manage click on repair and once the repair is done launch the game now the last step is to update your windows 10 or windows 11 so you can go to windows settings go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check so one of, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of these errors so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel